Hey trainers, welcome back to Pokemon Deck Tech. I would be Poke Dad. I'm the Dancing Bird for Space. And today on Pokemon TCG Unbroken Bonds, we got another deck profile. Something that I've actually been working on for about a week and a half. And I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but it had promising results. And then I noticed uh, out of Japan's tournament that there was two Grambles in their day two. And so I thought immediately I got to share this because definitely on to something here. I think Gramble's alive again, folks. And let's go over the list right now. All right, starting off four Schnubbles, four Grambles, two, two Slugma Macargo, two Oranguru, and one Ditto. Okay, so I did not change this from my uh, original plan that I had going into Unbroken Bonds. So after the Japanese tournament, I looked at their list and like they weren't playing the Macargo. Instead, they were playing three Orangaroos. They didn't play the Ditto. So the lists are quite a bit different. Um, I guess they felt they didn't need Macargo, but uh, I mean, when are you not going to need smooth over right when you don't have room yeah but i mean bench space has ne never been a an issue with gramble as long as you have one space for your backup attacker and then your main attacker is in the active that leaves you four bench spots so it's never been an issue of bench space no. setting up a smooth over mccargo so i'm not sure the reasoning why he didn't play that but I absolutely love Macargo, so I mean, maybe you could try it without it, but for me, for us, definitely the smooth over, right? Yes, I agree. Okay, so in case y'all aren't familiar, uh, Granville has the attack all out. It does 30 plus. Uh, if you have no cards in hand, it does another 130 more plus choice band. You get the picture. Damage adds up very, very quickly. All right, then for, for items. For just one fairy energy. For Nest Ball. Forms of Search. For Ultra Ball. Three Great Ball. Two Rescue Stretcher. Two Switch. One Poke Gear. One Pal Pad. Two Bodybuilding Dumbbells. Two Choice Band. One of the Electric Charms. One of the Ability Charms. And then Adventures Bag. Okay, adventure bag is very key in this because these items are for specific matchups. Okay, you got the dumbbells, which is going to help mainly against Zapdos. That's what you're looking to use dumbbells for. Zapdos give Gramble 160 HP. Giving it 160 HP, that means Zapdos needs with its attack 80, and then what three electro powers to one shot a Gramble. If you have the dumbbells. Not worth it. But even without the dumbbells, it's still going to take two electro powers. So, and that's probably your most difficult deck to deal with. Plus, dumbbells gives you extra uh, health against Doug Trio, against Hitmonchan. So, it has an immediate advantage against the one prize attack decks. Yeah, it's a little more difficult to set up, but when it does set up, then it's definitely the strongest of the, I would say, of the big three, Zapdos, Doug Trio, and Hitmonchan, right? Yeah. So I think this has the potential to be the strongest one prize attack deck going forward. Okay? Zap now, don't get me wrong, Zapdos is still super good, so... Uh, I'm, I but, don't know. Hitmonchan with the Gumi, that's going to cause some problems. This is true. The Gumi is going to cause chaos. And so, I think the Gumi is resistant. So I'm not. I'm, I'm saying it has the potential or it's weak too. to be the best one prize attack. Not saying it is, just saying that it has the potential. So, And then very specific charms. Lightning charm, we would definitely have a... Uh, a fire charm if it was available. Oh, yeah. But lightning charm, Zekrom's still going to be super popular, right? Mm-hmm. 
And then Ability Charm, that is mainly for like uh, Zorark, Tapu Lele, stuff like that. Okay? Or what else has Ability that we... Um, there's a couple you shut out Zara Aura, so it has some use. Star Cry from the Greninja deck. Yeah, so there's definite value with the ability. I think that might be the only questionable uh, cut going forward. There might be a better option. Um, I don't much care for the Psychic one, right? Mm -mm. That one's and then the grass one, it's not going to shut off anything. There shouldn't be any grass because of uh, but uh, Blaze Spot and Charizard. Then the fighting one. But there's no fighting. Fighting one, no buzz wall. So, I mean, honestly, the ability one might could be cut. So. Um, two rescue stretchers, of course. If anything, yeah, I would probably... Do a third rescue stretcher right there instead of the ability charm. So, I, I just haven't gotten full value out of the ability charm yet in any of the matchups we've tried out this deck. So, I feel like everything else is pretty well covered. Most important thing is the tools there. But, onto the supporters for Mr. Apricot Makers. Two Guzma, two. Red Search. Red's Challenge. Red, no. Two Diantha. Mm hmm And one Bill's Analysis. Me and Bill still figuring out Gramble. You know, he's been good to me, so we keep the one up. The new addition is Red's Challenge. In the Japanese list, they ran four. And <clears throat> I like that. But since we played the Macargo Smooth Over, then I've just opted for two. But I definitely could see the ability charm being the third reg challenge. But the problem with going up in supporter count is they get clumped in your hand. And so you need a for sure way to discard them, you know? So, mm -hmm. Apricorn's still your primary target. Um, grabbing two nest balls, two ultra balls, or two great balls, whatever, or any combination. Low count of Guzma, because like I said, they get stuck and uh, clumped up in your hand. So it's very reminiscent to like a Maxi's or Archie's list where you want to try to keep it to to uh, 10 or less ideally. And as you can see here, we have 11. But I'm not cutting my boy Bill. He's been good to me. So if anything, if you're wanting to keep it down to 10 supporters, I think you could go down on this. I think you could cut one Diantha, and then I would add one more Reds Challenge. So, there's definitely uh, flexibility with the supporters. So, Alright. Because you do run the, the pal pad to get them back. So. Then for stadiums, two Shrine of Punishment and one Wonder Labyrinth. I would love to have the forest in here because that secures the, uh, the for sure attack, you know. The three and for sure to get the energy, but uh, you got to have shrine. Shrine is just so important in this deck, and so is Wondrous Labyrinth. That's part of what makes this absolutely dominating. You know, when when you get that down, especially those lightning decks that play Thunder Mountain, they don't really play anymore. And as of right now, they're not really playing Field Blower, but it wouldn't matter since it's Prism Star. But once you bump their Thunder Mountain. Wondrous Labyrinth's probably going to stick. Yeah. And it could definitely give them a lot of problems. Uh, you know, and mm -hmm. you need lots of stadium options to bounce the fighting dojo. Because I think your worst matchups are the other one prize attack decks, right? Yeah. So. Those are going to cause problems. So. Alright. But again, I'd like to have the forest, but we don't have the room. And you need shrine. For energy, seven fairy. Seven. Um, you definitely could go down to six. I I worry about prizing. We've always been a or, fan of the 
Seven yeah. and furry. I mean, we've always played seven in all of our decks with uh, Gramble, so. Um, but yeah, there's lists. I've seen lists that run the force that go as low as five fairy. Or six fairy. Sorry, six fairy. So, going down to six um, is risky, but it's not unheard of. You know, people have had, I think, towards deck that he played a original played six fairy energy. So, so yeah. That's it. Um, definitely try out Gramble, folks. It's, I think it's good again. It's still going to struggle to hit the super high numbers on Charizard. Other tag teams. Yeah, but Zekrom, you have the, the lightning charm. So that, that forces them to go into their Zapdos. And Zapdos, we already talked about, it's going to need three Electro Powers if you have Fighting Dumbbells. And even if you don't have Fighting Dumbbells, two Electro Chargers to take one prize. So I really like your lightning matchup across the board, right? I do think it's strong. I think Hitmonchan, if they're run, if they're running Gumi, could give you problems. If they don't run Gumi, I think you could give Hitmonchan a lot of problems because you can easily one shot them. They cannot easily one shot you. So, Doug Trio. Uh, I think this is more. I think this can set up more consistently than Doug Trio. Okay. But I think the fighting or the dumbbells would give Doug Trio a big problem. Yeah. Yeah. It would. So um I think that's kind of the matchups. I think Blaze Fawn, I think this is really good against Blaze Fawn. Mm-hmm. I when it can one shot the uh, party balloons and party balloons gonna uh have to discard four Fires just to take one prize if they have dumbbells. That's gonna be a That's a, crazy. That's gonna be a pain in the butt. Dumbbells is a lot is is a lot of hassle for a lot of different decks, so Alright, well you got anything else, Dancing Bear? No I don't. Alright, well that's it for me. That's it for Dancing Bear and be excellent to each other. Party on dudes.